What's going on everybody Z here welcome back to Planet Nomads. So uh, the comments were super helpful. So thank you guys for all the support. I know exactly what's going on now and you guys are 100% right. These things right here, they weigh a lot. <laughs> so all of our weight right now is in the back of the vehicle. Uh, 200 piece and I put a whole bunch of them in there. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. But um, yes, thank you guys so much for coming out. Appreciate the support. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. And um, yes, thank you so much for uh, for all the support. Like I can't even, can't even tell you guys. Uh, we are so close to the 100K. It's absolutely amazing. So thank you guys for that. Also, we have a giveaway going on. Links down below in case you guys missed the last episode. But we are going to get this base fully functional, fully ready to go. Now, it was leaning towards this side a little bit. And I wonder if it's because of because of this being over there. Because like, like everything else is pretty centralized. So... Uh, we have what two four six. Ooh, we have 600 weight on the back right now. How's it looking? How's it looking now? I don't know if taking those frames out added weight or not also People were saying the suspension was bottomed out and you know what it looks like you're right because this is the the suspension right here can't go up and down There's no travel. So I actually need to bring these towards the outside a little bit see what would i do without you what would i do okay so let's firstly get some jacks on here and let's readjust this gear a little bit now we might also have to add more to it we might have to add some more uh, some more stuff you know but we'll figure it out all right so i had to do something a little bit different with the gear but i think this is gonna work i actually had to bring some blocks down and place this on the outside now i don't know if this spring I don't think that this top part moves. I think it's all the bottom part. So I think it would be okay being underneath of the vehicle. However, uh, this also gives us a little bit wider of a stance. So we can kind of go around some stuff. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, because I, I don't believe that the top part moves. I think it's just all down here. But we're going to try this. We're going to try this. We're going to give it a whirl to see how it kind of goes. I'm going to do the same with all of these. And we're going to try to uh, redistribute the weight in the top. I think it's mostly good for the most part, but uh, I have to go through and look. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get these finished up and hope for the best. All right. So I put it this way now. And then if we need to, we can throw another set of wheels under here or maybe uh, probably just one more set like up here in the front. And if we need to, we can move these to the middle. But everything is good. Looks all right. Now I'm going to go through and set the suspension to probably uh, that's max height. Should we set it to medium? We'll set it to medium. We'll go with that and we'll see how that goes. All right, so I think I have all the wheels connected up. Now, people were talking about uh, the double steering that I had last time. And it if it's a steering wheel, it still gets power. It still spins as far as I know. Um, so I was just doing that so I could turn a little bit better. But I have the regular ones. Like, I have them regular in the back now. So let's go ahead. Let's enter. Let's do this. Also, alt and scroll wheel brings you out so you can see what you're doing. It's fantastic, right? Okay, it still seems back heavy. It is back heavy. It's very back heavy. So we need to even the weight out because that's why it was giving me all like the weird little drifty things. And like, wow, super slidey because I had a lot of weight on one side and the weight wasn't distributed fairly evenly. Now I do have the double axles in the back so I can bring weight forward a little bit, but I don't have to bring it all the way forward because, you know, like weight stuff. But um, okay, so we need to get these panels back on as well. And then... I think we could get rid of this guy to be completely honest i don't think we're pulling i don't think we're pulling that much power so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy uh multi-tool battery depleted I, you know eventually i'm gonna run out of multi-tool batteries and okay so there's that that one's gone now how much does this guy weigh okay so this guy weighs 800 by itself so i need to bring this forward a little bit and i need to put it um, I need to have something to equal out the weight on the other side as well. What what about the stasis chamber? How much does the stasis chamber weigh? Because I have that in the middle. Okay, so the stasis chamber, we could throw on one side and throw this guy on the other. And that would equalize the weight for that for the most part. Let's go ahead and let's start with that real quick. Um, I might need to store stuff. I'm, I want to leave these 246, 246. These are 600 a piece. And oh, are these too far back? These batteries are dense. I guarantee you these batteries are right here are dense. No, they're only 40 a piece. That's not bad. Okay. So we're going to leave the generator in the middle. We're going to leave that guy in the middle. We could probably leave this up there because there are other things that I'm going to need to build anyways. Let's look at our utility items. Let's see what else I need to build. All right, the medium fad is something that we need to build and that thing weighs a thousand pounds by itself. Holy moly, talk about heavy. We're going to make that guy happen. All right, so this guy, oh my gosh. 
it's it's too big it's too big we could lay it down but oh wow this thing is heavy it weighs like a lot how much does the generator weigh 1.2 k so that's actually in a great spot because it's fairly centralized so i think we might have to go with we have a medium fad we're gonna make a is our compact fad machine yeah we're gonna make these we're gonna make the compact ones except for the printer because the printer actually gives us different functionalities uh compact fat we're gonna go with that and then we might go with a compact armory as well what's that 350 500 okay so we can put that on one side move this guy up so we'll probably put those maybe right here okay so those two are right there now we're gonna need to move this up so it's like equal on the other side of this and i think that'll bring the weight forward oh is that gonna bring the weight forward enough i don't know i don't know we might need to i might need to move some of these all right so that weight should be fairly even yeah because that's about 850 that's 850 i think so i think that's good now i know we only moved it forward a little bit but i think that's gonna help these things are so dense these things are very very dense so let's go ahead and let's throw one actually can i just get rid of one of these maybe on each side uh i could probably get rid of that one yeah we can get rid of this guy and then what about one over here okay we can get rid of this one for sure for now so oh we also have a door back here how much does the door weigh oh my gosh the door is a thousand the door is a thousand wow that's why it's so heavy back here i bet you we get rid of this door but i want a door <laughs> i want to i mean you know what it doesn't matter we're fine let's get rid of it i bet you things look pretty good now what do you what do you guys think okay let's see let's check it out It definitely doesn't seem like it's squatting as much in the back, which is good. We're moving. I mean, it's still heavier in the back, definitely. But I think it's good. Now, the only problem is, are we able to get up any of these hills? I don't foresee us being able to. I don't think we have enough power for this. We're actually moving. And we stop. And my front wheels are off the ground because the back's... Okay. All right. So, hmm... It's just a little worrisome because if we can't hit a hill like this, I think we're going to have issues, but we're going to need, I think we need more. Um, I think we need more, more wheels on here. I think we need at least another set. I still feel like the weight is wrong. The weight is just, it's just, it's still very back heavy. We might, I mean, I'll just, you know what? We're just going to move these up to the front. All right. Let's see how that looks. Did we, did we make a difference? um we might have actually we might have made a bit of a difference here i feel like those middle wheels are kind of acting weird yeah see we're still getting pushed around but that's because we don't have the uh the turning in the back i'm trying to test to see if i can even go over this hill because to keep going north we're gonna have to go over some hills i mean we're moving this is definitely better than it was. Okay, so the weight was a huge issue. Oh gosh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get out of here. Oh geez. Look at all these things. You know what might help? I don't know. Is if we put some hover pads in here, that thing is just about to get ran over. <laughs> if we put some hover pads in here, I wonder if that would help with the weight. You know what I mean? I don't know, we'll have to see. Uh, maybe we'll play with this, but I wanted to head north. I want to head towards that the the little D thing right there because that's where we found the titanium and uranium and stuff like that. And I need more titanium for more things. So we're trying to make our way over there. I guess we'll see if it works. Uh oh, I don't think we have enough power for this. I wonder. I think the front is still too light. I don't know how it would be so light though. I mean, we have what 400 and 400 in the back. We have 800 in the back. We have way more weight in the front. So why is it back heavy? I mean, we're slowly getting where we need to go. <laughs> Very slowly. Some of these hills are a little rougher than others. I think if we threw another set of gear on here, though, I think that might help our situation. And we're still sliding. I don't know what the deal is with the sliding. Like, why is this sliding right now? All right. Um, Let me see. What do I need for more gear? Let me check that out. All righty. So we have another set of wheels on here. And as I was going through here, I realized that I actually messed some things up. Um, these front wheels were actually in by one. They weren't lined up. 
so uh that might have been causing us some issues as well and i think actually one of them was further back than the other one so uh everything should be symmetrical good to go now and let's go ahead let's give her a try see if we can't get out of here now that we have all these wheels i can't even move oh what the heck those wheels on this side are not even moving um okay i you what <laughs> what's going on here uh they're they're powered and good to go uh maybe i need to there we go might have might have sprung a lift i might have like put them yeah i kind of built them into the ground a little bit so that might have been an issue all right let's 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 come on round two come on move man okay we're moving uh steering is minimal but we are moving look at us go i don't know why those back wheels are not spinning and we're making it up a giant hill um okay so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to mess with the steering a little bit i might need to turn the front two into steering as well because we're not getting very good steering options here um okay so we could do we could do the the next front two what why do you guys keep spinning backwards stop it we're moving though oh we're moving so much better than we were we don't have very good control though is the issue um let's go ahead and try all right we're gonna set those back ones up as opposite steering and we'll see if that helps us at all we'll kind of go through run some tests you know yeah i feel like that might be um you know i don't really know that that's the best option it's not bad oh look at that we went right over the tree oh my gosh we're actually moving <laughs> yes uh my power is now maxed out i am aware of that so we will probably have to get the uranium generator um i know there's a duradium a duradium generator too i think i want to say there is um but yes look at that base is moving it's just moving slowly and we're trying to get up this hill and i think we might actually make it now i don't know if i could squeeze one two three four i mean i might be able to lose another squeeze another wheel in there but like i said our power situation is a little low it's a good thing we have those batteries because we are definitely pulling from those batteries this tree looks like it has fruitage on it i wonder if i can get that fruitage these definitely look like fruitages oh you can gather them <gasps> what and there's oh my oh oh it's the whole tree okay i thought it was like three per one piece of fruit i was like are you serious right now that's amazing wait oh yeah you can go right up to the base of the tree and hit gather <gasps> Ooh, did not know that i like that okay cool so uh we're gonna press on towards our outpost d thing um i might actually I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna turn this off we're gonna turn some of these machines off that i'm not actively using there we go how's the power how's the power now uh it's still maxed out that's fine all right let's see if we can't get to where we need to go okay i can't get up this hill can't i can't get up this hill i was gonna go that way but there's a lot of rocks and i don't know if we're gonna be able to like get around them so i, I tried to go this way instead because i was like oh i can go up through there um so <laughs> i can't, can't even get up that hill though so power is definitely an issue for us right now um we'll we'll figure it out eventually but right now we gotta uh we're gonna just kind of have to roll i don't know i don't know i mean like we have a lot of panels on here like i get that we have a lot of the ceiling panels but other than that like i feel like these are mobile base wheels so i was expecting them to be able to do a little bit more than they are because right now i mean it is it is very very slow and it's sluggish and it just doesn't feel quite good i feel like i have enough wheels to make up for the weight but oh man it's like if i want to add anything else it's going to be an absolute nightmare you know i almost wonder if these wheels aren't rubbing maybe i should have placed them like a block away from each other i might have to go through and do that i wonder if these wheels like if if when they're hit in certain ways if they're like actually rubbing if theoretically they shouldn't be moving forward or back at all <laughs> they should be stuck on that axle pretty good so them like moving in and out and side to side like that that should not happen that should not be a thing but um unfortunately it kind of is and i don't know that we have a way around that we are getting ever so close to our final destination but it's kind of weird the suspension on these is kind of it's kind of odd because it doesn't actually like move up and down so there's a lot of times with i hit a little bump some of my wheels lose contact with the ground which stops me from moving because i need those power i need that power to move so kind of weird i kind of wish it would track the the terrain a little bit better but um we are getting there and we're at a decently kind of flat-ish area so i think we should be able to get there hopefully 
Um, I do think we have to go over one last fairly big hill. Uh, this guy right here is going to prove to be an issue. Because now we don't have those wheels in the back aren't touching. And for some reason, it just like, nope, not going to go. No more. Mm -mm. This is this is their stopping road. <laughs> so I don't know. It's a little buggy, but it's fun. It's good. I cannot wait to get the flying stuff. That is what we are after. Like, why can't wh what's going on here? Come on. Like, why are these wheels not tracking the ground? Like they should be, you know, kind of rolling with the ground a little bit. Maybe I should set the suspension to soft. If I set to soft suspension, maybe that'll help us. No, because soft suspension's bottomed out. We're gonna set up, we're gonna set them to hard. All right, does that help us at all? Hard suspension, maybe soft suspension would have been the way to go. Because it would have been a little bit squishier, but it was bottoming out so bad. Oh, this already feels better. This already feels better. Maybe, maybe the hard suspension. Maybe I was just maybe it was too low. Maybe it was bottoming out. This feels better though. But like look at see how the wheels are like getting stuck. Maybe I need to separate. Maybe I need to separate them. I might need to leave a little bit of room. Because I could bring the front one's back one, and I could bring the back one's front one, forward one, and that would give a little bit more room. That might be what we have to do. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit better, but now I hit I hit the area that I was starting to dig stuff from. <laughs> that right there. These little tiny... Oh, well, there's a giant hole right there. But these little tiny ravines right there that I made when I was digging stuff, like, completely throw it off. It's like, it's like, nope, nope mm -mm, I don't know what to do here. It's like, it's a bump. <laughs> what do I do with the bump? So I don't, it's, I don't know. It's a little weird, but um, yes, I think that's going to end this episode. Thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you're enjoying this whole ba This whole episode was about refining this, this uh, mobile base and we're getting there a little more, a uh, few more tweaks, I think. Um, and I think we'll be good, but I ultimately want to get over here. Uh, well, I'm actually kind of in the area that I want it to be so we can get some more titanium right titanium yes get more titanium get more researching stuff done and hopefully get some flying stuff i'd like to get some flying stuff we also need to get some miners and i've been told that um from the comments that i actually need to scan the miners and like the solar panels and stuff so um we'll have to we'll have to go out and do that we'll probably make an, a, you know another little small vehicle for that but we are in the area of titanium and i believe if i'm not mistaken these yellowish orange rocks right here are actually titanium if i'm not mistaken so there are a few of them here and we got to use them kind of sparingly also it is very cold here so i am going to have to uh keep that in mind is are these titanium uranium yeah uranium titanium so that's perfect you know what i don't need that but i would have the titanium okay perfect so these are what we need and there's a few of them here so we should be okay and if i think once we find a miner we'll be good because then we can uh mine the stuff what is this gold oh probably need to grab that too mm, i don't know what to get rid of perfect okay good all the rooms but um yes thank you guys for coming out hopefully you've enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more and uh yep give a link give away a link stuff down below fantastic you guys have a wonderful wonderful week and i will see you in the next one bye